You know, usually I would post these start a healthy lifestyle tip videos in the beginning of the month, but honestly, I don't think this could be more perfect. We are going to take care of ourselves, take care of our bodies, nourish, and move and have a beautiful year. Here are my top tips to do just that. My first time making sushi, even though it's 100%. I don't think you can call this sushi. Can you? Can you call it sushi? We have our rice vinegar. This is a little bit of bone broth rice, which I know, bone broth rice. It's already a little bit iffy, but I, I have, I think I have faith. We're gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar. I put a tiny bit of sugar in here into the rice. We can make some sushi rice out of our bone broth rice. Okay, okay. Okay. MCT oil mayo, good tablespoon, you know? Trader Joe's sriracha, this is like a spicy, spicy tuna. I don't like spicy, but I feel like if I don't make it spicy tuna, it's just not gonna taste good. Like it's not really gonna have a good flavor. So we're gonna go with it. I'm gonna have maybe like a teaspoon. Do a little splash of rice vinegar. This is probably good. And we're gonna hope for the best. Okay, you know what? It's good. All right, I really hope I don't mess this up. Don't laugh at me if this doesn't work. Seal it up. Oh, I should have put avocado in it. It's a little bit embarrassing. Okay, it's fine. Coconut aminos, here we go. Dip it in. Mmm. Okay, okay, okay. I'm actually impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I had really low expectations. I'm truly shocked. Here's our little tuna sushi. It's actually so good, and this is such a great source of iodine. 2023, we all wanna be taking care of ourselves and feeling good. We wanna feel energized. We'll chat and eat, you know? We'll do both. So number one, we wanna, first of all, we wanna feel good. At the end of the day, we all just want to feel good. We wanna feel energized, and we want to feel, we wanna feel good enough to show up for our life, to show up for the other areas of our life. We wanna take care of ourselves so that we can do what we feel called to do wherever we are at in our life. Whatever you're doing, whatever your season of life is right now, uh, we want to be able to fully show up and to be able to have a body that's going to support us in that with the energy, mental clarity, good sleep. That's what we want. We wanna feel good we wanna feel energized and we want to be able to move our bodies in a way that feels really good and that's gonna benefit us ultimately more than anything and and do it from a place of, of feeling good on the inside in our minds and not from a place of stress because that just defeats the whole point, right? The whole point of it is, is to actually be healthy and to take care of ourselves and so if we do that from a place of stress and worry and anxiety, it, de it defeats the purpose, right? We, it ends, we end up going in the opposite direction that we want to go because we're stressed and we're anxious about our food and our workouts. So, you know, is it healthy to do a workout because you're punishing your body and you're trying to burn things off and you're trying to fit your body into a certain mold, into a certain image? You know, is that workout healthy? It, it, it's a reframing of the way that we view health and the way that we view wellness because that's the thing we're not robots it's not just like a whatever the input is workout food whatever plus b us you uh equals c it's it doesn't work that way so every input that we put in whether it's food or whether it's fitness whatever it is it has to go through us and so number one what i want to say that healthy living, taking care of yourself, a life of wellness begins with you. It begins and ends with you. We can do all the things, we can take all the supplements, we can do all the workouts, we can do, we can do everything. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you, to your heart, to your mindset. And because here's the thing, you know, just like I said a moment ago, if I eat this and I'm worried about the rice in this food and I'm worried about carbohydrates and I'm like, oh, is that too many carbs? Is it gonna be, and, and look at me, I'm now stressed. I'm now like, oh, uh. and what happens is, is right then digestion shuts down. Just to be able to digest, we need to be in a place of rest. We need to be in a place of calm us on the inside. Otherwise, we're not even gonna be able to assimilate the nutrients from our food, right? Digestion slows. Think about an animal. We have a little sheep, and this little sheep is out there, you know, grazing in the, in the fields with the grass, and all of a sudden you put a wolf in there. That sheep's not gonna eat anything. The sheep is, it doesn't matter if it's the most luscious, beautiful green grass in the whole entire world with the most peaceful river stream, it doesn't matter because you have now inserted a stressor. And so when it comes down to it, number one, it is to be, it's to truly be at a place. Um, and I know that we're all in different journeys and we're all at a different point, but 
really think about like, how am I, how are me, how am I approaching my plate? How am I approaching my fitness? How am I, what, whatever it is has to go through me first. It has to go through you. So let it come through you that is grounded in who she is and who God made her to be. And that it has to go through you and you love yourself. You take care of yourself, not in a prideful way. I have patience with my body. I am gentle with myself. I am kind to myself, all these fruits of the spirit. And when you know that you know that God didn't create you to perfect your body, to perfect this image that, and we've really, I'm so thankful. We've kind of moved away from that even in, in, in just the wellness space of it's not about perfection. It's not about looking a certain way or forcing your body into a certain mold. It's about nourishing yourself and taking care of yourself truly from a place of rest and being able to love yourself in a way that's not puffed up in pride or focused on vanity or focused on the mirror, focused on how you look, but actually a place of love and, and acceptance of, I'm just, I'm so thankful to have a body that I can take care of. I'm so thankful to God that he gave me a beating heart, lungs that work, a mouth. I, I can speak life. I can truly, I can truly be a safe haven for myself. I don't need to listen to be afraid of carbs, look this certain way, you need to restrict, it's January, it's time to get back. I mean, we can go slow. That's why I've even uploaded this video a little bit later. Like I was just taking it easy into the new year. I was just straight, I was just straight up going slow into this new year. And let's give ourselves permission to really flourish in all seasons, no matter what is going on, no matter if we go a little bit slower, we're going a little bit faster. It doesn't matter necessarily what we're doing because it's who you are. And so number one, that's it. Number one is to truly be, focus on the being, focus on the being before you focus on the doing. And so, because no matter what then, no matter what you do, it has to go through you first. And so you approach that workout with grace. You don't punish, you move to nourish your yourself. You truly, to nourish your mind, to nourish your body. It's a form of nourishment, movement. We're allowing that blood to move, to circulate. And what is that doing? It's bringing nutrients into different, into our whole bodies, allowing improved circulation. We're taking care of ourselves not out of a place of pride, not out of a place of, of vanity. And, and we really will be healthier. We will be healthier when we stop focusing so much on the perfect doing, because you already know there is no such thing. So that's number one. We're gonna go into number two. I'm gonna eat a bite of my sushi. Number two is have fun. The thing is, and this is something that I'm gonna be personally focusing on this year, is to have fun and to truly like do things that uh, food and workouts aside, what makes you laugh? Add laughing into your daily routine of wellness. Add something that's gonna make you smile. Whether it's a funny comedy show. I was watching this hilarious, like clean comedy show the other day <laughs> and it was actually hilarious and I was laughing so hard and I was like, man, this is so good. Hang out with people who make you laugh. Talk to people, call call someone, call your friend, call your, call, your, call whoever. Um, my, speaking of calling, my husband's calling me. Prioritize fun. To prioritize means to do first. The word prior, first, we wanna do it first. And so not necessarily you need to laugh first thing in the day, but basically put it up there on the list. Like get it up there at the top of your list that you want to laugh, that you wanna smile, that you wanna have fun, that you wanna do things and be around the people that make you happy. Proverbs says pleasant words are like honeycomb. They're sweet to the soul, they're health to the bone. So when we are around people and we are doing things that is, is bringing sweetness to our lives, it is so nourishing. It is, to me, it is so much more nourishing than anything that could ever be on your plate. Because, you know, even when we do things, this goes back to number one, even when we do things from a place of, of sweetness, from a place of, of love and grace, like it can be whatever we can eat that we can eat that ice cream. We can eat the donut. It doesn't even matter what it is, ice cream. There's no such thing as good food or bad food, but we're just talking about desserts and the general thing. Some people think, oh, well, desserts, sugar, that's bad. You know, and it's like, here's the thing. If you approach that and you eat it and you're like, man, this is so good. This is my favorite dessert and I love it. We can truly nourish ourselves with whatever it is because again, it has to go through you. And so 
and prioritizing that it gets to be fun. It gets to be fun. And I get to not only do things that are fun, but I get to eat things that are fun. I get to try new things. Like when was the last time that you made something that was so fun to make that you thought about what you wanted to eat and then you went out and you bought the ingredients or you thought, what would just be fun to eat for lunch today? What would just be fun to make for dinner? How can I make it fun? How can I enjoy it? How can I make the ambiance beautiful? Can I light some candles? Can I, can I think about like, what would sound delicious for dinner? What would just be so yummy to eat tonight? And, and how can I make it really, really fun? Do I want to turn on a podcast that I love or listen to something that makes me happy or call up somebody who I can just chat with and catch up with while I cook the food and, and it smells delicious and the ambiance is beautiful. I put things out on my favorite dishes and I eat with my favorite serve. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't have to be perfect or I make it simple and I serve it on something that's so easy and quick to clean, whatever it is. Like, and I get some fresh flowers and I put it out there and you romanticize your life in those little ways and you make it fun. And then everything becomes nourishing to you. Every single thing, it doesn't matter what it is because you have cultivated from within you this outward expression of wellness, of health. Number three, we're gonna get a little bit more, I mean, not that that's not practical, but you know, and those are really important. That's why that's number one and two. But let's get a little bit, a little bit more practical. Number three is to focus on nutrients. So when we talk about nutrients, we have our macronutrients, we have protein, carbs, and fat, and then we have our micronutrients, which is vitamins and minerals. So when we talk about focus on nutrients, we wanna be making sure that we are getting enough macronutrients and enough micronutrients. Making sure that you are nourishing your body with enough protein and enough carbohydrate throughout the day. Getting enough protein is so important for detoxification. When we talk about detox, we're not talking about like a crazy restricted, we're not talking about that. We're just talking about supporting the liver. The liver specifically needs protein in order to detox and to order in order to perform its functions in order to help you detox. Cause you don't need to detox. You do, but your liver's already doing it for you, but you can support your liver. That's what I'm trying to say. You can support your liver in its detox because it needs certain nutrients in order to perform that duty of detoxification. So supporting your liver. So that's really what it comes down to is really supporting your liver. But we do that through nutrients. So it's very important to make sure that you're getting enough protein to support detoxification, to support your liver, and getting enough carbohydrate because our liver specifically needs carbohydrate needs carbohydrate. We need carbohydrate to have proper thyroid function. It needs carbohydrate to make the enzyme that actually converts T4 to T3. All that means is that it, we, we, our body needs those major macronutrients in order to support our hormone function. This is, we're talking about our thyroid. We're talking about, we're talking about everything. This, it all goes back to nutrients. It can be a little bit of like a challenge to get enough protein and carbohydrate <clears throat> every single day, especially protein. And always pair your protein with a carbohydrate so that you're not gonna lower your blood sugar, you wanna keep it stable. So, and that's gonna help. When you pair the protein and carb, not only are you gonna keep your blood sugar stable, but you're gonna give your body what it needs for a proper hormone health, for pro just proper everything. Our bodies work so hard for us every single day, even while we're at rest, even while we're sleeping, pumping blood, keeping our temperature regulated. But that is number three. And then your micronutrients, we'll throw this in here as well, making sure that you are focusing on your minerals. So for me personally, um, I recently had an HTMA test and I just realized like how important it is to really, it's just really so important to get in those major minerals. One of the main things that you can do with your micronutrients is number one is focus on magnesium focus on magnesium we need magnesium for energy if you are struggling with low energy if you feel tired throughout the day if you feel like you can't make it through the day uh magnesium and you're not taking magnesium magnesium it, we literally need magnesium for energy and it can change your life. It can literally change your entire life. So making sure that you're getting enough magnesium. One of my favorite magnesiums is the Symbiotica spray and I keep it by my bedside and I spray. You wanna do like 15 to 20 sprays. You can do it twice a day. You can do it in the morning, you can do it at night. Magnesium is also really great. It's, we need it to for, uh, relax our muscles. It's so important, but we also need it for energy. A lot of times magnesium is just thought of sleep, sleep, sleep. We actually need it for energy. It wasn't that crazy that it can help uh, both energize us and help us to sleep. I mean, magnesium is truly a miracle working mineral. Like thank God truly for magnesium because it is God's gift to us. We're so deficient in it with our water and our, it's just, it's not the same as it used to be. So supplementation really is going to be the way that we're really gonna get magnesium because we're just not gonna be able to get, you'd have to eat a lot of cocoa or cacao. You'd have to eat a lot of cacao to get your 
recommended daily amount of magnesium. And I don't know about you, but I just can't eat like, I can't eat cups of cacao. I don't really know anybody who can. So a magnesium spray is a great way to do it. And the reason that I love the Symbiotica one is because it doesn't sting, it doesn't itch. A lot of topical magnesiums can be very um, irritating to the skin, but I love theirs because it doesn't irritate your skin. It doesn't make your skin itchy or tingly or anything like that. And so that solves the problem. It smells amazing. It smells like lavender. It's very relaxing. It's sourced from the Dead Sea. All right, I was just dying to show you. This is the Symbiotica. Magnesium, it's literally the best thing. That It's the best magnesium in the world. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. And it literally has reishi mushroom. It's just absolutely amazing. I just, I just can't get enough of this. And they put Arnica in there. Like, it's so good for your muscles. It's just absolutely incredible. Anyway, and they put ashwagandha. Like, I, the, an adaptogenic herb. Like, I just, I lo love, I love Symbiotica. Speaking of minerals, um, Sheila G. I absolutely love Sheila G. I feel like it's becoming really popular now, um, which is amazing. It, I, I'm all for it. I love Sheila G. There's over 84 minerals in here. So this is a really, really easy way to get your minerals in from such a great natural source. I mean, this is so potent. It's so powerful. Specifically, Sheila G supports cellular energy so much. And again, if you struggle with feeling just tired, focus on your minerals. And this is such an easy way to get it. This literally helps our bodies to produce ATP, our energy. It really is black gold. It's called black gold and it's called black gold for a reason because it is amazing. So if you're struggling with that, with energy, get in your minerals, get in your minerals. And another thing that you can do is again, to focus on stress reduction. So the minerals are really gonna give your body what it needs to create to produce energy and then also it's going to make you resilient to stress and so you know that's just unrealistic we can't just avoid all stress in our lives you know you know we're going to have deadlines we're going to have stressful events we're going to go through difficult things i walked through a very 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 difficult end of 2022 and that was very very stressful it's very stressful in my body so that being said you know we're not gonna avoid it, but we definitely absolutely can support our body's resiliency to that stress. And so that's why I love adaptogenic herbs. And I am in my adaptogenic herb era. We have brought back all the good adaptogens and I have been loving this one. This has guava, which is amazing. Guava is really actually incredible for progesterone production. I've just noticed such an improvement even in my mood. I, I feel so much more calm. I feel like, I just, I just feel stable. You know what I mean? Like I just feel very stable. And I have, I'm so thankful that I've added this into my routine. And they're giving you a discount. So you get 15% off your whole entire order with my code Cambria15. You're gonna use that code at checkout. You can click the link in the top of my description box. You do the best products ever. And I know what it's like to struggle, feel so exhausted all the time and just feel like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why am I so tired? And when you just get those main things, when you get in your macronutrients and when you focus on micronutrients, especially magnesium and minerals, and then you, you allow your body to be supported, even though it can be stressful with things like adaptogenic herbs, you are going to see such a massive improvement in your sleep, in your energy, in your mood, in everything. So these are my favorite, favorites of all time. I love Symbiotica and I do wanna thank them for sponsoring this video. I've used their products now for almost a year and they are the best of the best. I love them. I'm just gonna take this right now, speaking of this. I feel the stress leaving my body. I'm in a very happy mood today. Probably because of this and this <laughs> and this. And then my mineral, oh, more mineral tea. If you want a good mineral tea recipe, you can go watch one of my recent videos. We're gonna do a little uh, haul. We're gonna do a farmer's market haul. We're gonna go for a little walk. We're gonna get some movement in today. We'll keep our tips up all throughout the day, but we're gonna hang out. I know that you know the past couple of years maybe have been really, really hard for some of us. And honestly, maybe we're gonna walk through some really hard things this year, but one thing I know for sure is we're doing it together. You're never, ever, ever alone. And I can confidently say that God got me through every single um, mountain and challenge and valley, uh, got me through uh, the, the, even though the mountaintop sometimes can be good, it can be a lot of work and, and the valley can be a very dark place. And I know that God has truly gotten me through um, every dark thing. And I, I wanna encourage you with that, that no matter what this year brings, um, the good and the difficult, all things work together for good for those who love God. And I want you to know that, that God has a good plan and a good, he has a good purpose for your life, even with the difficult things, you know, um, what what's meant for evil will be turned for good. We could just chat about it all the time. Let's just go on a walk or something. Let's just do, or make some tea or something.
just as a reminder, healthy living starts and really ends with healthy being. And I feel like I definitely needed that reminder myself, especially at the end of 2022, when I walked through just a very difficult season and I found myself wanting to support my body even more and help my body even more. But I actually found myself really stressed and really stressed of like, okay, what, supplements do I need to take? What do I need to do? Do I, and I found myself kind of being nervous to even work out. Like I didn't want to play stress on my body. And, and the thing is I had to come to a place yet again, where I just reminded myself that, you know what? The stress is honestly more unhealthy than anything else. And to stress about trying to be healthy is, is doing the opposite effect. And so I know that feeling of fear, like maybe this goal or dream that you have does feel so far off. But I just want to remind you that don't listen to anybody, not even yourself, that tells you that you can't do it or that you should give up because you know that you were not created to give up. And it reminds me of what Paul says in 2 Corinthians, therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we're wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. So I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter if you feel like you've fallen a million times to get back up and make 2023 a year of wellness. Mm -hmm.